the insane destruction the world's scariest supervolcano will cause when it erupts. Researchers have pinpointed key warning points across the U.S. National Park which could hint at a devastating imminent eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano has stunned and scared researchers for decades in equal measure. Scientists recently discovered the consistency of magma under the Yellowstone caldera is mostly mush. It means the amount of molten rock beneath the supervolcano is far higher than previous estimates. While researchers insist there is currently no sign of an imminent eruption, the findings paint a more detailed view of what's going on in the giant magma chamber beneath the national park. Despite this, scientists are still looking out for any small sign Yellowstone might erupt, including surveying the ground which, if seen to be rising, could hint at the start of a mega-eruption. Such an eruption was explored during Naked Science's documentary, Super Volcano. In 2003, researchers set to work after a series of strange events happened. Geysers were bursting into life, new cracks in the ground appeared and satellite pictures revealed multiple changes taking place beneath the surface. The documentary's narrator explained, based on the scientists' research, that all volcanoes give out warnings when they are preparing to erupt, and that one such eruption at Yellowstone would trigger the mother of all evacuations. The first sign of a Yellowstone eruption would probably be the ground rising, the researchers said. Just before Mount St. Helens erupted, the mountain bulged, growing 5 feet per day. A similar kind of uplift would be likely at Yellowstone. As magma deep below the surface of the Earth rises, it splits the rocks above. In Yellowstone, it would probably lift the whole caldera, an area the size of Houston and Dallas, 10 feet or more into the air. They continued, weeks or even months before a Yellowstone super eruption, these warning signs would trigger the mother of all evacuations. The area 60 miles around the volcano would become a hazard zone. Officials would place on alert the surrounding region, up to 200 miles, readying people for a violent eruption. As people evacuated the area, geologists would look out for new warning signs that would tell them an eruption is imminent. Yellowstone is one of the 20 known supervolcanoes, a volcano which has had an eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of 8. In the past 2.1 million years, it has erupted three times, with the most recent event 1,000 times bigger than the Mount St. Helens eruption that devastated the U.S. in 1980. The last three eruptions have created what is known as calderas, giant cauldron-like hollows that form when a magma chamber empties, eventually forming a depression in the ground. <laughs> Professor Bill McGuire, one of the world's leading volcanologists, told the documentary that swarms of earthquakes would be seen as fresh magma moves into the system and breaks the rock above it. These earthquakes produce particular waveforms on seismographs just as the rocks in the area crack and fracture, creating a sharp rise that fades quickly. The hazard zone, long before an eruption, would be hit by these earthquakes, tremors that would signal that an eruption was imminent. This signal would be far different from a regular earthquake, however, and would give way to a long, continuous vibration. Professor McGuire explained, now when magma has opened a space for itself, it will start to move through that. And as it moves through that fairly rapidly, it will start to vibrate the walls of the crack or the conduit. And that will give you a sort of rumbling signal. Called harmonic tremor, it sounds like the vibration of a large organ pipe and is the final warning sign before an eruption. Many plans have been hatched to try and stop a future eruption of Yellowstone, including by NASA, which once floated the idea of increasing the amount of water inside the volcano to extract heat from it and also reduce the risk of a pressure buildup. This was considered too difficult and too risky, 
not to mention the costs involved, and so was scrapped. While some have suggested Yellowstone is due to erupt, the apparent cycle of an eruption every 725,000 years means there are still another 100,000 years to go.